Hey, what's up? It's Snow. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Bilk. And today we're going to be blasting Vancouver's Conqueror, War Cult Supremacy, Ross Bay Cult Eternal. Fuck yeah. So good on Nuclear War Now. Amazing comp of pretty much everything they ever recorded. Amazing, amazing stuff. And speaking of the bestial war death genre, today I want to talk about the 2013 EP release by Weregoat, Slave Bitch of the Black Ram Master. Fuck yes. I was just looking on Parasitic Records and just so happened to see that Tim found 20 extra copies of this. So I had to get a copy of this EP. It also has one of my favorite Bathory covers ever, Necromancy. Fuck yes. This is I'm so glad to have a copy of this. You have no idea. Hails to Tim at Parasitic Records for just even having a copy of this lying around still. And just fucking wow. Pretty much everything you come to expect from Weregoat. If you are new to this band, expect some of the filthiest, perverse, blasphemous, <laughs> just evil metal that there possibly could be. I mean, just look at that cover artwork. And it just gets grimy here. Just wait. Like, if you're under 18 years old, I would not let your parents see the lyric sheet. First off, it's next to unreadable, lyrically, but just, um, I'm going to show you some pictures right now, and I'm just giving you a heads up. If you are easily offended, I don't know why you're watching this, but if you're easily offended, check out some of the artwork. Yeah, Satan's getting it on. Um... Oh, it gets, it gets gnarlier, trust me. Oh my god. <laughs> that is just absolutely fucking vicious. Like I said, evil as fuck. Very, very perverse metal. Like, I, I love it. Because it seriously, like, is a step up from Unholy Exultion of the Full Moon Perversity. And then you have Slave Ram Bitch of the whatever. <laughs> slave Bitch of the Black Ram Master. Sorry, it's a mouthful, no pun intended. But, yeah. Uh, and then leading up to the Diocletian split, which is great. Disciples of War. And then with the full length, which is one of the best records of 2017. Just watch some of my videos. Uh, fucking, um, Pestineal Rites of Infernal Fornication. Where Goat just love their long titles, and they're just absolutely filthy, X-rated, evil as fuck artwork. Which, I, I love and all, but yeah, it's very, very, you know, demeaning. If I was a woman, I don't know how stoked I would be on this. Or I would be fucking super stoked on it if I loved Satan and stuff, but who knows? All I know is I love Weregoat. I love the fucking sound they have because out of like all those like bestial, you know, conqueror and blasphemy type uh, like bands that kind of, you know, just take a page out of their book and then get some Chris Moyan artwork and then call it a day. This actually is very, very fucking memorable. Seriously, for the three original tracks on here and this amazing cover of Bathory, like, it's memorable as hell. I mean, I never thought I was going to have a physical copy of this outside of, I'm, I was seriously going to buy the CD, but I knew if I bought the CD, I would probably listen to it twice and that would be it. It's the same thing with the split with Diocletian. I need to get that on vinyl. So I listen to it more because that's some of Wear Goat's best material next to the full length. And this is just great as well. Like, 
Beneath the Horns of the Destroyer, Bestial Malevolent, and Slay Bitch of the Black Ram Master, followed by the Bathory cover of Necromancy. Just amazing stuff on Parasitic Records and Iron Bonehead. Awesome artwork. Just like I said, you might want to hide that from your mother. But I have the poster behind me. I covered the Merciful Fate one. I'm going to move it. have to do some moving around. And I have the full length poster behind me, which has Satan having sex with another woman. Where here, he looks to be ramming this crucifix. Yeah. Where the sun don't shine. But that's the Dark Lord for you. But anyways, what you get here is pretty much what I said exactly. I mean, it sounds great on vinyl. And it's a great, great build up for the full length that dropped this year. And if you haven't heard that yet, get on it. It's so fucking good. And uh, Pestineal Rites of Infernal Fornication is one of just, I think, the best bestial black death war metal records ever, whatever you want to call it, genre-wise. I just call it awesome. But seriously, I really, really love the over-the-top lyrical subject matter. I love how sexualized they made like the evilness of this album as well because it really really is super like perverse and blasphemous at the same time and I really like that combination as like fucking like vicious as it is it really really works for Weregoat and I don't think they would have it any other way musically and if you just blast this shit it's just amazing like and just knowing that, hey, Satan gets all the girls, according to Weregoat, so good for him. But if you're into fucking, you know, unholy goat worship and shit, and bestial black death, then you have no excuse not to check out Weregoat, especially on this EP. It's a great great fucking introduction to the band if you do not have a copy of Unholy Exultion of Full Moon Perversity which I do not have on vinyl it's the only one I do not have on vinyl besides the Diocletian split as well uh, Disciples of War I have on CD which came out through Dark Descent I need to snag the vinyl through Dark Descent I know they have it on their uh, website but I know uh, Parasitic has it too, and Nuclear War Now, so I, I can get it from a number of sources for around $17. I got this for $20. Do not mind paying $20 for something that limited to 666 copies and was down to the last 20 So if you want a copy of this, go to Parasitic Records right now and... Hopefully there's some copies left because this is a hundred percent worth your time if you're a fan of bestial black death the war whatever the hell genre you want to call it pretty much Ross Bay cult worship but Americanized from the Pacific Northwest and just made a little bit more special than a lot of the other bands that try to, you know, take that Ross Bay cult sound. This just has its own fucking vibe to it. Very, very memorable riffs. Very awesome vocal delivery. Amazing, amazing, apocalyptic sounding drums. I, I fucking love this EP. I love this band. And, uh... You have Indiscriminate Impregnator on Guitar Sodomy and Abysmal Invocations. Nocturnal Hellfucker on Subatomic Detonations and Command of Bestial Penetration. And Sadiser on Doom Hammers of Primal Lust and Hate, a.k.a. Tim from Parasitic Records. But, uh, yeah, absolutely filthy artwork filthy music to go along with it and uh 
kind of hard to read the lyrics, but I looked some up, and just what I expected, pretty much this picture sums up the lyrics. Because <laughs> they are really hard to, like, uh, read. I mean, you can read some very, very, like, gnarly words. And uh, all I do know is that chosen whore ingesting the seed... I don't even know, it's like scribbled and evil, but yeah, very very graphic, graphic fucking artwork, it's Jesus Christ, it's the most blasphemous double penetration I've ever seen, I guess Were Goat and Satan love the DP, but yeah, like I was saying, very very over sexualized and this was recorded and mixed at the ship in Portland, Oregon. And Necromancy was originally recorded by the mighty Bathory. Rest in peace, Corthon. I love you. And Where Goat Hails, a bunch of awesome people, awesome bands. Fucking Black Witchery, Ross Bay Cult, Goat Ritual, Diocletian, Grave Upheaval, Blasphemer. <laughs> Uh, Cemetery Urn, Panzer God, Radioactive Vomit, Fornicator, Cemetery Lust, and all the were sluts and abysmal whores out there. So, yeah, were goat fucking rules. And uh, this is a great EP. Slave Bitch of the Black Ram Master on Parasitic Records and Iron Bonehead Productions. If you're a fan of your fucking Black War death metal, extremely filthy, extremely fucking vicious, and extremely awesome, then you are going to love Weregoat in general. So, if you have yet to hear this band, there will be a link below, and yeah, I cannot recommend this EP enough. But their full length is just some next level shit, seriously, especially in comparison to their EPs and their split. It's just like, all those songs, as great as they are, are just a build up to the full length record, which is so goddamn good, and th this is just amazing as well. I wish it was a little bit longer, but yeah, these fucking four tracks great especially since there's like i said my favorite bathory song is covered by fucking where goat and yeah that's always awesome anytime you get a bathory cover and it's done good like that one revenge does sounds amazing but on here it's a lot more audible and you can hear the riffs and everything it's great so if you like your fucking bestial black war, death, evil, perverse, and memorable, getting into some Were Goat Slave, Bitch of the Black Ram Master EP, I'm gonna give this a 9.5 out of 10, A plus fucking evil right here, get into it, and speaking of some A plus fucking awesomeness, and blasphemy, Conqueror, War Cult Supremacy, on Nuclear War now? Fuck. Yes. Ross Bay Cult Eternal. Amazing Vancouver Black War Death again. Whatever you want to call it and throw this under. Amazing stuff. And as always, you guys fucking rule. Thanks for watching. Girls. <clears throat>